I'm on location on Pine Mountain in Georgia, on the spot where Leonidas Polk was killed. And I'm here on the anniversary, June 14th. Prior to the war, Polk had served as Episcopal Bishop of Louisiana, and during the war earned the nickname, The Fighting Bishop. He was close friends with Confederate President Jefferson Davis, which allowed him to get away with a lot of things other officers wouldn't dream of, including disobeying direct orders from superiors. By the spring of 1864, Polk commanded a corps in Joe Johnson's Army of Tennessee. On the morning of June 14th, Polk joined Johnson and fellow Corps Commander William Hardy near a four-gun battery commanded by Captain René Beauregard, son of General Pierre Gustave Toutant Beauregard, along the crest of Pine Mountain. There they observed federal movements until federal gunners opened fire on them. While Hardy and Johnston prudently retreated, Polk dallied, and an enemy cannonball split him in two, breaking both arms and, according to the monument that now marks the location, crashed through his breast and opened a wide door through which his spirit took its flight to join his comrades on the other side. Johnson characterized it as a calamity, although Polk's many detractors since have characterized it as one of the best place shots of the war.